Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the podcast. This is a special episode, it is going to be fairly short, but for whatever reason, <clears throat> over the last couple of weeks, the fish items have chosen to recirculate on the internet. The fish items are all alleged to be about Tom Cruise, and in this particular episode, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to read you the blinds. I'm going to read you one blind, the original blind that started it, but I'm going to read you the tip that led to that blind and then the other tips that came. And I use tips in quotes. <clears throat> I mean, it was, you know, November of 2020, pandemic, all that kind of stuff. And I think everybody loves a good fish story and it kind of took a life of its own. And... <laughs> There's people that have tried to, to find all the blinds and everything, but I didn't turn every single one of the quote-unquote tips into blinds. I'm not saying that Tom Cruise did these things. I'm just saying that everybody said Tom Cruise. The tips all say Tom Cruise. I'm not saying that it actually happened. I'm just trying to explain the origin of the fish myth or the fish story. Now, the original blind was from December 3rd, 2020. The craziest tip I have received in a couple of months. I thought I would share. I made it blind. And this is the tip, like in the blind I wrote. I'm originally from California, but I've been in a language immersion program in Italy for the past 18 months. Yesterday, I was doing my weekly shopping when I saw this A-plus list mostly movie actor over at the fish counter. He was wearing his mask. Actually, two. One on top of the other. But I knew it was him because he had security with him and because I heard he was filming in the city, Rome. So he purchased a whole sea bass, but requested that they not wrap it up for him. He then took the fish into the men's room, was in there for about 10 minutes, and when he came out, he no longer had the fish. I don't know what he was doing it with it, but it was really effing weird. Okay, <clears throat> so the original email I got was from November 29th, 2020. And... One of the clues, like it said, actually two, one on top of the other, referring to the mask. And if you go, yes, Tom Cruise was filming in Rome at that time. He was, um, and the, one of the things that was talked about was the fact that he was wearing two masks. It said sharply dressed in a gray waistcoat with a crisp white shirt. The 58-year-old actor donned a black face mask over a blue surgical one as he greeted the throng of onlookers who held their phones aloft to capture shots of the star. Once back to work before cameras, the Cruise and his co-star Haley Atwell were seen chained to a steering wheel as they shot gripping car chase scenes. So he was in Rome, and so this was the first fish story, okay? November 29, 2020, the tip, and then the first blind was December 3rd. December 5th, 2020, this is the email. It's not what I turned into a blind. I don't even know if I turned it into a blind. I probably did. Not all of them got turned into blinds. I believe I know who the fish bathroom guy is. I think it's Tom Cruise because I witnessed him doing something similar in 2016 in a supermarket in L.A. He had been wearing sunglasses, but it was definitely him based on the nose and the bodyguard next to him. I mean, being L.A., I guess it could have been any celeb, but it was really the nose that gave him away. I took a number from the red number thing and waited to be helped. Mr. Cruise was taking a while, though, because he was carefully examining every fish that the guy placed on the scale. Finally, he settled on one. Not sure what kind it was, though. Mr. Cruz requested the man not wrap it up, so that's actually the only reason why I followed him. I thought maybe they were filming a movie or something and they had an emergency needed for a new prop. He went into the men's room with the fish and the bodyguard, but I stayed outside, afraid of appearing to be yet another star-struck civilian following a celeb somewhere. Although when they opened the door to the restroom, I could see that there was not a film crew inside. I waited around like five minutes pretending to be shopping and was about to leave. I was thinking I might get in trouble for loitering outside the bathroom or something when they suddenly came back out of the bathroom with no fish. I was really curious, so I went in and found the fish in the garbage wrapped in a massive amount of paper towels. Then I left. Okay. December 12th, 2020. And by the way, all these emails came from different people. Well, different email addresses. Hey, I've been reading your site a lot lately, and my interest has been piqued by the blinds about a man and a fish. I have an interesting story for you. I've lived in Vancouver, B.C. since 1998. I'm a makeup artist and have worked on numerous television shows that have filmed here since 1999. You probably won't believe this since it's the classic friend of a friend of a friend story, but I figure I'd share it anyway. 
In the year 2000, I got work in the makeup department for the show Andromeda. By the way, if you haven't read it already, I sent you a tip regarding Kevin Sorbo on that show in case you're interested. My supervisor was a woman with whom I formed a close friendship. Even years after the show ended, we would text and Facebook message one another almost every day. So in early 2011, she sent me the most hilarious and bizarre text about something her cousin supposedly witnessed. Her cousin, who passed in 2015 in a car crash, was a celeb chaser. Before you ask, no, she did not literally chase them, and her hobby was not related to her accident, nor was she a paparazzi. She would, however, consult her friend, who ran a celebrity tracking Twitter account to determine the whereabouts of celebs in hopes she could spot them and possibly get autographs that she could then sell. I've always withheld judgment because she worked two jobs and still struggled to make ends meet. She heard that Tom Cruise was filming at the Vancouver Convention Center. She lived really close by at the time, so she jumped in her car and was there in about five minutes. <clears throat> She was too late, though, and only caught a glimpse of him as he departed the scene, but she saw which car he got in and followed it for blocks until his driver pulled into the lot of the IGA on Robson. Apparently, Cruz waited in the car, and the driver got out and went into the store. There was somebody else who remained in the car with Cruz, but she wasn't sure who it was. Probably a bodyguard, because she said it definitely wasn't Katie Holmes. Apparently, Cruz looked anxious in the car. He was, like, sort of bouncing up and down in his seat. The driver came back with only a white paper package in his hand, which he started unwrapping before he even got the door open. It was some sort of whole fish. Cruz rolled his window down just far enough to grab the fish, but she was unable to see what he did with it because the driver got in and quickly sped out of the parking lot. I thought my friend was totally BSing me, but the blinds I've been reading lately have really made me start to wonder if she was telling the truth. <clears throat> December 13, 2020. It's Tom Cruise, right? I was an extra on the set of Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. This was my first time ever as an extra, and I was actually told I was lucky because I got to get more glimpses of the actors than most actors do. I noticed Tom Cruise seemed jumpy, sort of like he was coked out on something. He was like bouncing on the balls of his feet. He wears specially made shoes with really thick soles, by the way. I'm good at reading lips because I have partial hearing loss that's getting worse as I age, and as the shoot was ending, I was on the other side of the street from him, so I couldn't hear what he was saying, but I read his lips and he kept saying something about a fish. He said the word at least three times. December 21st, 2020. Hi, I saw Tom Cruise in Boston in 2009. I do not read your blog, but my friend does, and I'm writing to you on her advice. I worked in the North End, basically Boston's Little Italy at the time, and Tom Cruise came into my store and asked if we sold whole fish. I told him no. We were a small shop. We only had a limited selection of fillets, and he became agitated and asked if I knew where he could buy a whole fish. I directed him to a store around the corner, and he left in a huff. It was weird and happened so quickly, I didn't have time to process it. December 26, 2020. I think I know who Fishman is. I will tell you in a series of haikus. Fishman is Tom Cruise. I know because I saw him do stuff with a trout. It was long ago on a long lost movie set in California. I'm not an actor. My mother was in the crew. She brought me along. Tom had trout brought in, whole and large with mouths open. He refused to share. Then he disappeared into the bathroom with one he thought no one saw. I went in after and found it in the trash can, stuffed at the bottom. It was in rough shape. One eyeball was popping out. The mouth leaked white stuff. I ran to my mom. She told me to shut my mouth, so I said no more. The end. This was early 90s, by the way. February 9th, 2021. This actually had an extra tip. I'm a groomer at a, a Petco store, we'll say. They actually said which one. I never believed anything you wrote about Millie Bobby Brown until I saw her enter the store last month to get her dog groomed. She was walking hand in hand with a man who was in his 40s at the very least. I'm a fan of her, so I can tell you that it was not her father. I was so upset, I honestly couldn't stop thinking about it for my entire shift. One more thing. I think I know the identity of Fish Lover. Back in, I think, 2015 or 2016, I worked at a different pet co. A friend of mine who worked the registers and would assist in the live animal department when needed came up to me one day in tears and said that Tom Cruise had just flipped out on her. He had come into the store about 10 minutes prior and had begun inquiring about fish. He wanted to purchase a plec plecostomus which is a type of sucker mouth catfish that can grow to 24 inches long depending on species. He said he wanted the biggest one we had. My friend showed him the common plecos we had, which grow to be the largest, but none were more than about six inches long because we receive them all as babies and they're always purchased by customers before they mature. He began demanding one that was at least 20 inches long and my friend told him that we simply did not have any that size. She suggested he go to any of the small mom and pop type fish stores around the city as they usually have at least one massive pleco suffering in a way too small tank. 
At that point, Mr. Cruz basically threw a tantrum, whining about how he needed the fish now, and as he stormed out, he shouted back at her that he would be considering a lawsuit. Needless to say, my friend was very upset. <clears throat> February 10th, 2021. So sorry to do this. Oh, <laughs> but they wanted me to remove the Tom Cruise fish blind. Um... <laughs> Because she was afraid that her friend would lose the job if Tom Cruise saw the blind. Okay. September 22nd, 2021. So then it's been a while. I'm a longtime fan of yours. Begin reading since 2006 at least. This sounds crazy, but I'm a friend of the, men, the man who met Tom Cruise on a hiking trail in England. You're probably familiar with the story, but just in case, here's the link. And the story was basically Tom Cruise parachuting off a cliff. Right? He, he had surprised some hikers when his helicopter landed near the walking trail in England's Lake District. And Tom Cruise exits the chopper with a few other people, then proceeded to parachute off a nearby cliff. And, you know, this was very, very crazy. So anyway, so my friend Andreas and I were talking this afternoon. And I, of course, asked him about his meeting with Tom Cruise. He said it was cool. And Mr. Cruise was quite friendly, but he said he overheard the gentleman who got off the helicopter with Mr. Cruise whispering to one another. He wasn't 100% sure what was said, but he said that he's pretty sure he heard something that sounded like should have put a hole in the chute, followed by something that sounded like this BS with the fish. He said he's pretty sure it was fish, but it's possible it was wish instead. All I can think of is maybe he was involved in some sort of make-a-wish foundation thing for a child or something. I'm just wondering if maybe I've solved those fish blinds of yours, but if you post this, please omit my name and my friend's name. That is the origin and the history of of all of the fish blinds. Enjoy. I will talk to you guys 